Oh, meteorologist Steve Fondero is here now to show us just how hot it really is out there and how dangerous it could be. Your map looks like it's on fire. We got lots of lots of bright colors here to show yeah. you in, the, in this next segment here. But with the way our climate is changing, everything is just warmer and particularly in the summer uh, here locally across Hampton Roads and in Norfolk since 1970. The numbers show that we've added 21 days in the summer where temperatures are above average. That's three weeks by 2100. We keep doing the math here. Our summers locally across Hampton Roads and Norfolk are going to feel more like that of Monroe, Louisiana. So we're just going to keep adding up the heat. Now it serves as a reminder about how dangerous heat could be. It's the num number one weather related fatality across the United States and mainly because it comes when the sun is out and there's nothing gloomy or looming or big storms or severe weather anywhere. Uh, and, and it's best to just hang in the AC. And fortunately across the United States, 90 about about 90 percent of US households have air conditioning, but where the big problems live is in the vehicles in the car, the parked car driving around running some errands on a day where the air temperature is about 90 degrees. So similar to today, five minutes go by the inside of your cars pushing 110. 15 minutes go by the inside of your car pushing 120. Half hour goes by. You're talking about temperatures inside your vehicle over 130 degrees. So Always, always, always check the back seat of your car. According to the US, uh, United States Department of Transportation, since 1998, there's been over 900 hot car child deaths. So serves as a reminder that when you're in trouble, uh, a good way to tell whether you're in some serious trouble is actually if you're sweating or not. That's the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. If you got uh, uh, if you're feeling lightheaded, starting to get a bit of a headache, you're still kind of sweating, uh, you got clammy skin, just get in the AC um, and get to a cool spot. But if you're starting to feel that headache start to throb a little bit more and you're feeling the internal parts of your body's temperature start to rise, that's where it gets serious and that's when you're starting to deal with heat stroke. Now, today, tomorrow, this is stuff we could handle. Thursday gets a little interesting with heat indices pushing uh, the triple digits 101, 102, 103, 104, 105 is probably what it'll feel like by Thursday. Thursday. We're used to these kind of hot days, and if we play our cards right, we can handle this. But where some are handling it not so well is on the other side of the pond.